Hi everyone, welcome back. I just wanted to show you today um, a simple mandala. We are going to um, incorporate some colors into this one. So you can choose five colors and then a connector color, which is normally white. Uh, so I would highly suggest choosing a white or a light color for that. And then you can choose five other colors. And I'm gonna show you how uh, we're gonna pull that all together in the mandala. We are going to use uh, my step-by-step -step instructions that um, you may have seen floating around on Pinterest. I know it's been out there a little bit, um, but if you haven't and you would like to download these instructions in order to be able to create this mandala um, on your own time as well, then uh, you can just uh, click in the link below in the description of the video and that will take you right to the uh, PDF download so you can download that and have it whenever you want and uh, practice mandala over and over. The mandala that we're going to choose to do today, um, I've done a few times uh, through my workshops. Um, it really, it's cool because um, everyone chooses their different colors and the mandala seems to change and um, have a life of its own when um, your colors are different. So this one you can see is uh, blues and greens and then I have shades of pink and it's the exact same design. Um, but we've got, uh, they just change with your different colors. Uh, this one has um, some turquoise and blue as well. And so I've done this on stones and I've also actually done this on, um, I did a wine glass workshop and we did uh, the same design on wine glasses. So I'm going to show you in another video how to paint on glass. Um, so stay tuned for that one. But today we are going to do this this mandala that um, I've done done a few times. So uh, stay tuned, pick your colors and come back and let's do this together. Okay, so I'm back here. I've chosen my five colors. Um, I will post the colors that I've used on the video as well, just so if you're interested in um, in choosing the same colors, then you'll have the idea of what, what colors to choose. So I have found my center on my stone already. I actually painted the stone top of the stone black um, just so it was prepared for the video. Um, you can see that I didn't do the whole stone black because a lot of the times I really, really love the texture um, and the colors of the natural stone. So as you can see, this one has um, quite a gloss to it, which means that I've already done a resin coating on it um, before painting it. And I'm going to do a resin video shortly. I'm going to talk about the different finishing details um, that you can use for your stone and why you would want to resin some stones before painting. Um, so stay, stay tuned and subscribe um, so that you don't miss out on that video and why I resined this stone beforehand. But as you can see, it's got gorgeous colors and I just wanted to keep some of that natural looking stone um, as part of the, the part, part of the project. So I found my center of my stone already. So we're going to get started here. The first thing we're going to do, I'm using my pencil with my tack. You're going to see this a lot in all of my videos because I use it very often. Um, I also have a couple um, choices of um, tools here in varying sizes along with my my toothpick and um, my wooden dowel so again you can find these really cheap at um, the dollar store craft stores they come in multiple packs for really inexpensive um, but they're really great um, tool to have on hand so what you want to do first when you after you've chosen your five colors is choose what order you want your five colors to go in so because we're gonna do um, the colors in order and then we're going to be doing them again in order so just kind of line them up the way you want your colors to um, the way you want your colors to be in your sequence so I'm starting off with my purple with my thumbtack tool and I'm going to create my center dot here this is a really quick easy mandala to do uh, that's why i tend to do it for my workshops it's easy for beginners and it's really quick so there you have my center dot and now i'm going to choose my next color 
To find your center, before I get go too far into it, um, I just use a um, flexible sewing um, measuring tape. I find that they really it really goes around the stones quite nicely in order to be able to find uh, the measurement that you need. Okay, so then next we're going to take a smaller dotting tool, not as small as your toothpick. Let's see here. We're probably one step up from that. You want it fairly small, especially, it depends on the, the size of your stone though as well. If you're doing a bigger project, you might want to choose a bigger, bigger tool, bigger center, bigger center dot. But um, my stone or my area that I'm working with, it was about uh, seven centimeters by seven centimeters. So I'm going to keep it fairly small. So my next color that I'm using is a turquoise color and I'm going to go on the top and bottom and side to side. This is going to start my design and keep my design centered. Okay, so now you're going to take your same color, same tool, and you're going to go in the center of each of those. Like so. And then we're going to do the same, keep the same color, same tool, and we're going to go in between each of those. You want all of these to be pretty even as far as size and even all the way around the circle or your center circle so you can go back and add a little bit more if you need to just to make sure that those are all pretty even After we've done this ring, we're going to do our next ring, which is going to be, we're going to take our tool and we're going to go from one end, we're going to go to our next size up on the other side. And we're going to choose our next color, which is going to be your third color in your five color sequence. So mine is going to be this nice deep blue color. What we're going to do is we're going to start off in the valley between our two stone or our two um, previous dots and then we're going to do it every every set of second dots here you can see that these dots are a little bit bigger than the ones that we just did Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing that we did in a previous ring, which is taking your same color and same tool size and making dots in between to complete our ring. Again, you want these dots to be really similar in their size and in their spacing around the previous ring. 
Okay, so now we are going to take the same size. We're going to keep that same size of tool that you just did, but we are going to choose our next color. So for me, that's going to be this really awesome lime green color. And we're going to do the exact same thing we just did in the rings before that. dots in between. Okay, once you have that ring complete, we are going to take our next tool up. It's a little bit bigger because we want to create our dots, our next dots. We want them to be slightly bigger than these ones. So now we're taking our fifth color. For mine, it is a Cayman blue. I love this, this color. And we're going to do, again, the exact same thing that we just did with our previous ones but we're going to our, our dots are going to be a little bit bigger Remember to uh, feel free to pause the video at any time if I'm going too quickly for you. Um, and then you can just take your time and not feel rushed with your, your dots. And then just come back whenever you're ready for the next step. There, so now we have all five of our colors on our stone and uh, I'm really loving these colors together. And now we're going to go back to our first color which is the purple for me. And we're going to take our, I'm going to take my wooden dowel. So this one is going to be quite a bit bigger but not quite as big as our center our center dot. So you want something that's a bit smaller. This is what my center dot was made with. And this is what, I don't know if you can see this here, what my wooden dowel is. So you can see kind of the size comparison. Um, we're, we're still going about maybe just over half of the same size as what our center dot is. And we're going back to our first color. And we're going to do the same thing that we've been doing. Now with the dowel, remember we're not touching down all the way onto our surface because that's going to create quite a, a circle that's I, a quite a bit larger than what your tool is and what you want it to be. But also it's not going to give you as clean of a circle or a dot as we want to have for your project. So I'm very, very lightly, I'm just taking paint that's right just on the tip and very lightly 
touching my surface. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go in between each of these. In just the same way we did before. If you find that you don't have quite enough space to be doing this middle dot, you can take your tool down uh, one size and just create a slightly smaller dot in between these bigger dots. Okay, so now we have our first color ring that's gone all the way around. Now we're going to start changing up our pattern a little bit. We've done the same thing for all the rings up until now, but now we are going to change it up a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take um, the tool that we use for our center dot. So for me, that's the, the pencil with the tack in it for you, whichever tool that you uh, chose to use your, for your second dot. And we're going to go with our second color that we used. But what we're going to do now is we're going to, let's see, I'm going to get this first dot in here for you. We are going to go up and down. Well, basically what we're doing is we're doing every second, every second set of dots like we have before, but we're not going to do the dots that are in between those. So for me, I'm going to go on the top and bottom here. And side to side. And in between. And again, you want these all to be the same size. So if some are a bit smaller, just add a little bit more. Okay. So this is it so far. So now we're going to take our tool that we used, not for that first ring, but actually for, for what would be me is the, the blue and the lime green. So your second and third rings, that's the size of the tool that we're going to use right now. And we're going to go with our third color, whatever your third color is. And we are going to create dots on the top of each of those last dots that we just did. There. 
And then we're going to take our tool that was a little bit smaller. So the one that we used for that first ring of dots around our center dot. And we're gonna use that same color we just used. So for me, it's the dark blue. This is where we're gonna do our descending dots all the way around here. And we're gonna do that for each of our big, big dots here. And you just need one, typically you just need one dip of paint in order to create these, because if you keep dipping, you're not gonna create the descending dot because you're gonna have the same amount of paint on your tool. So then you're gonna get more of this where all of your dots are the same. Whereas when you only dip it once, then there's less and less paint on it each time that you dab your tool and that's what creates our descending dots. There, and now we're going to go on the other side as well. all the way around. There, so now you can see all of the descending dots all the way around those big circles that we just did. Now we're going to take our next color. So for me, it's the lime green. And we're gonna do that exact same thing that we just did, except so we're gonna go back to our tool that's a little bit bigger, the one that did my blue and green, so your second and third rings. And we're gonna go and create that dot at the top. We're going to keep this tool to do our descending dots. Instead of going down one size, we're gonna stay at this size and we're gonna do the exact same thing that we just did. Now sometimes when you get down to the these dots down here, they don't always stay nice and clean depending on the size of your tool. So you can take your tool down a notch to one of your smaller tools and just clean up those dots just a little bit. And you're gonna go on the other side as well. Same thing. And go all the way around until all of your circles are done. Okay, so now once you have those 
last set of descending dots all completed. This is where we're going to now connect our mandala with our sixth color or connecting color. So this is the one that I'm going to, I'm going to use white. Um, if you've got another color, you're more than welcome to use a different color. Um, this is just kind of what ties everything all together. So this is where you're going to use the one color that's going to bring everything all in together. I'm going to use my toothpick and uh, this is where having a toothpick is essential. So I have the metal toothpick. I will post a link because I've had a couple of people asking me about where I get the metal toothpicks from. So I will post a link in the description, but you can use wooden toothpicks. That's totally fine. And um, you might just need to use a couple of toothpicks because they tend to fray at the end and then you don't get that nice, uh, really tiny dot that we want to have. So what we're going to do now to connect everything is we see the filler spaces. So we're going to take our white and we're going to go into the middle here into around our very first dot that we did. So this is going to go in between the purple and the, the teal or the turquoise here for me. It's going to go in between your middle dot and that first ring where you have the little space in between that tiny little valley. There you can see those tiny little white dots in between and we're going to go around our next rings in those same things. So where we see these, these little valleys or these little spaces in between our dots, we're going to put in white, tiny white dots in between there as well. So again, we're going to use our toothpick until we get to some of our wider spaces. We're going to keep using our toothpick. As you can see, I did three layers with my toothpick for my tiny dots here. And now I'm going to step it up one, one size on my tool because now I'm getting into some bigger spaces. So I want to create a slightly bigger dot in between. This is where you can really just have fun with it. You know, make it, make it your own. You can put many dots you can not put as many the details here are really your your own unique finishing touches okay so here you can see I went around and I actually put two dots in between all of my blue ones because I had a good good space in between there. So I've created the blue or the two of the white dots in between. So I'm going to do one more layer here in between my little purple ones. Okay, so now my that purple layer is done. Now I'm going to go up a size here 
which is again this same size that we used for our top dots and for that second and third layer. And I just want to put a white dot in between some of our big our big dot um, big dots here. These are just really nice filler dots. Again, brings everything together. Now, the last thing that we're going to do for this one is we're going to keep that same tool and the white or the connector color that you chose. And we're going to take, we're going to do that same dot on the top. And we're going to descend, same tool. We're going to descend those white dots all the way down. And we're just going to do it on one side all the way around. So again, when you have, you can see these dots here aren't super clean. I'm just going to take my toothpick and create those tiny dots that are a little bit nicer. See, makes it, cleans it up really nice. So again, I'm just going to start with the top dot. And all the way down. And we're just going to do that around our, our stone, but just on the one side. I mean, if you want, you can certainly go down on um, the other side as well but sometimes it's kind of really cool to just leave it where you just have it on the one side so that's what we're going to do for this one so we'll go all the way around okay so there you have it there's all of our stone with all of all of the mandala design on it as you can see uh, some of the the dots have that point or that more of that 3D effect, that's really uh, depends on the, the consistency of your paint. Your thicker paint is going to leave that, um, that little point and um, give you more of a 3D effect, whereas some of the, the thinner paints are going to dry flat. So depending on the look that you're wanting, um, that will depend on the consistency of your paint. So there you have it. This is our, our cute little mandala stone and I hope you enjoyed making this alongside me. And uh, again, if you're looking for the, the tutorial and the step-by-step -step instructions that we did in this video, uh, the link is in the description of the video and that will send you directly to uh, the PDF download for it. So um, have fun, enjoy, create, um, you know, make the piece your own create, you know, different colors, add-ons, you know, this, this is your stone and then your artwork. So um, I would love to see pictures of uh, the stone that you create. Uh, I believe you can send, put those in the, the comments or send me an email or shoot me a, a message on Instagram and I'd love to see what you create um, with the step-by-step -step instructions. So there you have it. And we'll see you next time.